President Rodrigo Duterte says he's worried about lumping together Muslim provinces in mainland Mindanao with those in the Sulu archipelago under one Bangsamoro entity. Duterte says regions within the Bangsamoro entity may be better divided according to tribes. He says, quote, I am worried. Would it do well to mix it all in one pot? Meaning to say, will you people of Holo be ready to be led by a Maranao, like in the ARMM? The president says he wants to resolve the issue this year or by the time Congress passes the BBL. Duterte says resolving whether or not to further divide the Bangsamoro entity is necessary so that the BBL does not become a failure. Further dividing the Bangsamoro region will mean more regions under the federal system of government, Duterte envisions for the country. Duterte previously said he wants the BBL passed ahead of the ratification of the new federal constitution. The Bangsamoro will then become one of the states in the federal Philippines. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana on Monday says he is personally against the resumption of peace talks with communist rebels. Lorenzana is reacting to the House of Representatives resolution calling for the talks resumption, signed by more than 60 lawmakers, which resurrected a discussion on the issue. He cites decades of failed peace talks. Lorenzana says, quote, It's like they are begging to restart the peace talks again, so I don't know the purpose of this. But he clarifies he is open to changing his mind, but only on certain conditions. Lorenzana says he will have to talk to President Rodrigo Duterte first. He also says the communists will have to be sincere coming into the conversation. He says, quote, But these people, CPP and PA, is insisting to fight and talk. I don't believe in that. If we talk, we should stop fighting first. Human Rights Watch on Monday slams the shockingly dangerous and shameful claims of Foreign Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano and Presidential Spokesperson Harry Roque that human rights organizations are being used by drug lords. Roque earlier said it was possible criticism of Duterte's war on drugs persists partly because groups are getting funds from drug lords. He added human rights groups had become unwitting tools of drugs to hinder strides by the Duterte administration. HRW Asia Director Brad Adams says Rocky should withdraw their comments because they have no evidence. Adams adds Rocky's statement can further risk the lives of human rights activists. He asks, quote, are they trying to have death squads target human rights activists? The Philippines is often referred to as one of the most dangerous countries in the world to be in for a human rights defender. In 2017, Frontline Defenders said in its annual report that 80% of deaths of human rights defenders took place in four countries, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, and the Philippines.